Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show, and I've got a special guest on today, and his, he's got a unique name. It's not like David or anything. It's Ramesh Badu. You there? Yeah, I'm there. Uh, good morning. Nice to meet you. So what, what kind of name is that? Where are you originally from? I, I was born in Jamaica. That name Jamaica, is... Jamaica, come on. I read. Uh, I read. Uh, <laughs> so I was born in Jamaica. Um, the name is actually Indian. My father's Indian, West Indian, so... That's where the name comes in, the first and last. Yeah, Yeah, we used to vacation down in Jamaica for about 12 years straight. We'd go to, uh, we started going to Montego Bay, then we'd go to Ocho Rios, and then we just fell in love with Ocho Rios, and we'd go there, we'd rent a villa, about 10 guys, and just stay for three weeks and Mm -hmm. turn into Jamaicans. Yeah, (laughs) it's a beautiful place. I love it. I don't drink anymore, but we used to drink all the Red Stripe, and there was no more on the island. (laughs) Yeah, that's the drink (laughs) of the island, yeah, Red Stripe. You're right. So how long have you been here? And you're in Florida now, right? I'm in Florida now. So yeah, I left Jamaica. When I was about eight. Um, came to Florida, and I've been here ever since. Yeah, uh, back in '95, I think it was. Yeah. Well, you don't have much of an accent. You kind of acclimated. Uh, yeah, I had to get. I had to, had to adjust. I was young, so I had to adjust to uh, <laughs> make sure that you know things are right. Oh, we had a lot of good times in Jamaica, though. So much fun yeah. down there. Yeah, it's a beautiful place beautiful place so are you like in the, the southern part of florida or northern I'm in or central. middle i'm in central uh, i'm in the orlando area so you know with the disney and oh and sure the sure yeah spend some time down there for sure with my yeah, so I'm stuff. The <laughs> yeah absolutely absolutely so you're married and got kids or are you single wild and crazy uh, no, no, I'm married with kids. I've been married going on 13 years. Uh, oh, two good. good daughters. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely a family man. I got, okay. I got the family at home. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm married too. The wife's got one kid, but I don't have any. But uh, it's a lot nicer than being single. I waited. I, I stayed yeah. in the same house for 53 years, and then I got connected with the right person. And it's, yeah. It makes absolutely. life a lot easier when you got that harmony going on. You do. It does. It does. Absolutely. So let's talk about your app. This is, uh, I just saw it on your, your connection. It's a directory. Yeah, well, it was, it was a directory. Uh, just recently, within the past couple of months, we, we, we transitioned, we switched it from just the directory to a social platform. So now, now imagine Instagram. Uh, that's kind of what we are, social platform. So we allow uh, business owners, Black-owned businesses, uh, people that want to support Black-owned businesses to be able to have a community together so in the application you can create a profile you can follow friends and family or other businesses you like you support um it's just a community where we can just build and grow together and help and support each other so inside the app you can also find a directory where you can find different categories for businesses you you're interested in finding or supporting um i mean down to attorneys down to authors i mean stores i mean you name it it's there um so we definitely want to provide that tool so is it focused mostly on like business connections or is it dating and things like that or is it not yet uh, right now it's more so the business aspect um, but i'm sure it will evolve over time but right now it's primarily to the business users and the consumers that are looking for stores or places to support yeah it's interesting how the world tried to keep them separate and they had like LinkedIn for business and Facebook was more social. And now there's yeah. people doing social stuff on LinkedIn and there's business yeah. stuff on Facebook. So you can't yeah, over time they evolve because we can't make, stop us entrepreneurs. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot, you have to evolve for the people. Have you, you seen know? that other platform? I think they're based out of down there too in Florida. It's called web talk. Web talk. I've heard of that. It, it's, it's kind of like a, Basically, what you're, when you get your profile and you make your connection, you can either say it's a business connection or a, or a personal connection. Got you. you, got you. Similar, to, yeah, similar to what we have in the app now. You can, you can choose a business, a personal influencer. Um, so we have different profile types as well. So yeah. your platform is based, basically a phone app? Yes. So yes, right now it's available on um, the iOS store for Apple. Um, Android is coming soon. I know a lot of people want to stay, pump out the Android, but we're uh, just making sure we're strategically uh, launching and, and releasing, you know, that way we can manage what we have. Totally makes sense because I think the Apple stuff is like, isn't it like 80% more? 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the primary market. I mean, everything about it is, is pretty much flawless. The review side, Apple's dev teams. I mean, everything is, is spot on. And because it's one operating system, it helps, you know, all the devices work uh, pretty much seamlessly with Android or Google. It's thousands of devices that you have to figure out and make sure you don't have any bugs or issues with. It, it, became, it becomes really painful at that point but um but right now we're available for for ios for apple and um it's going pretty great yeah because it's a bigger audience it makes sense to, to yeah. launch in that where there's some activity going yeah. on and then kind yeah. of bridge into the other stuff but absolutely i wonder when they're all going to get together and work on one platform because it does get i don't know about that one I, <laughs> that's a tough apple and uh you know samsung a lot of other platforms they're not the best of friends so i'm not sure about that one but it would be nice it's unfortunate because sometimes I'm doing stuff on my computer and I have my phone and then you, all of a sudden it's not working and you wonder why and it's probably because of something like that where it's just not, yeah. not speaking the same language. You got American English and Patois. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little broken up. That's true. That's true. So what's the next uh, uh, plan for is the like you're right now you said you're more business related and you're going to kind of migrate into the other things is that is that coming soon or is that like maybe it, it's, it is coming soon for example um, a couple of weeks ago we, we launched a new feature it was actually a chat feature so um, in the chat rooms because you know back in the day chat rooms were super popular yeah. so over time they faded so it's just something that I had an idea let's launch chat rooms back so we have a few categories in there for, for entrepreneurs that are looking for, for support, looking to partner with other entrepreneurs, looking for advice, looking for help, looking for tips. Um, you can discuss politics. I mean, there's a lot of different interesting categories there to kind of make things current in a sense um, and, you know, create dialogue. So that's one of the features we added. And another one that we're actually, we released, but we're, we're uh, making some tweaks to it this week. So next week we'll be full uh, on with that one. And it's allowing business owners to be able to sell their products in the app. So if you sign up, you, okay. you have a, you're selling some products, you know, you can't, you, you can do more than just list your business. Now you can actually sell your products in the app. So if a user comes on and they're, Hey, I like this product, I like this business, I'd love to support. Now they can directly inside the app and uh, our business owners keep a hundred percent of their revenue. We're not trying to get, a piece of what you're, you know, you've done. Um, so it's just another uh, avenue of, of how we can help our entrepreneurs that are, that are supporting us. Sure, so it increases the value. Yeah. You soon use it. Yeah, and you can get your revenue other places. Uh, I'm assuming there will eventually be advertising and things like that. Yes, advertising and, and several different things. And, and business owners can also advertise on our Instagram, things like that, because we're trying to build up multiple platforms. And that's everywhere. a good idea. So you're kind of using your other social media platforms. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yes. I saw yeah. something else that was similar like that, where they allow, oh, oh it was an event related platform. This is kind of interesting. You might be able to implement it, but yeah. it's, it's kind of like an event, bright event. At, uh, process yes and they do facebook advertising and they they pay for it on your behalf the mm -hmm. reason they do that is because they take a percentage of the ticket so gotcha. the more tickets to sell yeah yeah, yeah so they actually yeah. advertise your event that's an interesting nice. model yeah. yeah yeah that's interesting but i got two questions one sort of controversial but i'll ask the other one first are you planning on doing anything with video on the app um we are that's something that i considered Good. um uh, and, and also live down the road as well, um, because that's an important component that's become very popular over the past, you know, year or so. Um, well, it makes sense. Video is the closest thing to being like live in person. Here, I'm talking yeah. with you in real time and you're thousands of miles away. I don't yes. know exactly how many thousands, but, <laughs> but it's in real yeah. time and I get to know who you are. I can see that you're a real person rather than mm -hmm. having some fake profile and yeah, we can engage. Yeah, we exactly. can Exactly, and you, you, can, yeah. you can sell and you can ask questions about what you're buying so much easier. And then exactly. they click that little button and they buy it. Exactly. So yeah, Very video cool. platform is, is something, adding that, making it make sense. Um, um, so that's kind of what we, we're trying to roll out and evolve um, in the right time. Yeah, yeah, you might even be able to integrate it with something like Zoom and just have a little offshoot, but it's dedicated to your members. Yeah, yeah. And even going live uh, with YouTube and integrating that too. Um, that's something that we, we've discussed as, as well. So that's a great, that's a great point. So the controversial question is, is it an open platform? Or is it only for the black community? 
Not at all. Not mm -hmm. at all. So it, it's definitely a mixed platform. What we wanted to do is make sure that we're available for everyone. Um, cool. The concept of the app, you know, once you download the app, you create a profile. Anyone can do so. We, we want everyone to be a part of the platform. Um, yeah, get I get conversations with some people on that kind of thing, the whole black white thing. And then you can't yeah. do that because that's oh, racist oh. and all that. Not at the all. reality is, is certain communities, like you say, for example, Jamaica, if I moved to Jamaica, I would want to be with some of my English speaking American people, just community. Yes. It doesn't mean that I can't be part of everything else. So it's very exactly. encouraging because sometimes exactly. people are, Exactly. Yeah, the platform is for everyone. We have something. I mean, if you have a business, that's why we kind of separated the two to have a social component and then the directory component. So if you have a business, you want to advertise and yeah, there's the entire social side. You can have your profile, you can follow, follow who you want, you can engage with other users, you can sell your own products, you can list your own products, you can advertise. So there's a lot of options as well. And that's for everyone. Everyone. Very it's cool. just the great part is you can also find black owned businesses in there. Yeah. So how do you, how does somebody say, hey, this is, this sounds really cool. I can see what's the vision, what's going to happen with this. How do they get a hold of you? And can you just go to Apple and download? Yeah, so, so you just simply go to the app store, you type in Black Nation. Um, you can visit our website, blacknation.app. And uh, also follow us on Instagram, uh, Black Nation app. And um, luckily, we have uh, have over 100,000 users all organically um, over wow. the past year and a half. Um, you know, the app's done pretty well over the past few months, you know, um, our downloads, I mean, over a thousand percent. I mean, it's been fantastic. Um, so we're truly grateful for what's going on. It's unfortunate for sure, uh, the climate of how it's happening, but, um, you know, getting out there, letting people know that we are available. We are a platform that we're trying I, I to would, help. I would it. say that it's, that it's actually fortunate. This has yeah. been an interesting thing. It's made people it's, think. It's one of those bitter sweet things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's opened it up and it's, it's made people realize that, you know what? I want to connect with people and then they're not so anti-social anymore. They're, yeah. they're kind of doing it because of the COVID. They kind of part ways to get around yeah. each other when they're walking down the sidewalk and stuff. Exactly, exactly. But it's getting people to want to get connected again. And I yeah, think exactly. You got to look on the bright side, right? Exactly. Um, and a real quick, another feature that I wanted to highlight is the giveaway feature. So I installed or implemented a giveaway feature. Uh, so if you're a business owner or if you're not even just a business owner, if anyone you're trying to do a giveaway for, imagine you're an artist and you're doing a tour across the country, selling out, you're reaching out a radio station, you're doing free giveaways for your tickets, meet and greets, things like that. Imagine if you're able to, for example, come to Orlando, you're doing a show at the arena and you want to give away 10 free tickets. Now you can directly from the app. So imagine you're in Orlando, you create a giveaway, 10 free tickets, Orlando is your location, the app will do all the work for you. So now it's not a bunch of thing, a bunch of people, no, nope, we do all the work for you automatically. Um, so it goes out, chooses 10 random users in Orlando and tell them, hey, you just want to give away to check, you know, uh, just out this concert. That's is interesting. That, it's a bunch that of thing. Is that a hard thing for you guys to handle the bandwidth of it? If someone came in and they're doing a free concert, would they be able to say, we want a thousand people in the room and they just give away a thousand tickets? A thousand tickets. Really? A thousand that's tickets. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And that's very it's good for your cool. members because all of a sudden yeah. they hey, cool. Someone's coming to town. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's you really know. cool. You can win <laughs> free gifts. I mean, we've had users give away all kinds of different things. Uh, we also do giveaways. We also have giveaways in the app that you can just enter to win. So we want to make sure the, the social component, again, is available for everyone, for anyone. Um, it's really cool things. There's a lot of other things um, inside the app. So the best way to really try it, get familiar with it, is to download it. So definitely, guys, check it out and give it a shot. Well, if, you go, if you're on a laptop and you go to blacknation.app, mm -hmm. you'll see our website uh, that's as well. That's the website? But you don't yeah, you download it. Website. Is it accessible on, on the laptop? Or the phone's not as yet. Um, that's something that I'm considering. Uh, it makes things a little interesting when you, every time you evolve on that scale. So eventually we will. Um, like I mentioned before, we're just trying to roll out uh, strategically. Because, it's possible uh, you might want to say, I'm just going to do two separate things because when they still do, do get it connected, it, it confuses yeah. stuff. And the yeah, reality and is, is the majority of people are on mobile anyways. We want to be yeah, yeah, they're on mobile. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say a lot of the users are mobile, but um, 
we want to capture every every uh, avenue as well. So I think web, that's where it's going. I think eventually it's going to be all tablets and phones yeah, and the laptop yeah, thing. It. It's all going to be talking and virtual and, future, uh, yeah. AI and all that kind of stuff. Coming that's the future. That's cool. the future. Yeah, well, that's absolutely. interesting. It's always uh, fun to talk to people about these new things that are coming along and. Yeah. Yeah, it's just really cool. Um, truly grateful for, for where we, we've come um, during this short period. And uh, I'm excited for where we're going in the future, for sure. I will get this beamed up to YouTube and then I'll get it off to you. And if you could share it and get the synergy going. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And if you've got uh, other, you know, I like to do these over and over, you know, the one time doesn't really do it, but uh, yeah. maybe have you on again when you got a new thing, new L, new feature you're launching. That's Sounds good. Another one. Very cool. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ramesh. I appreciate you taking time, and uh, we will reconnect soon. Sounds Peace. good. Sounds good. Peace. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.